Martin Phillip. Right, so I've got this email. Uh, so where can you get the skies in on one raw? Ah, dead easy. So let's run. Uh, let's have a look at a picture. Oh, here's one we know and love. So there's the picture, all ready to go. Blown out sky, blown out the uh, lines. Where we want to go to, you can ignore develop, you can ignore effects. Let's go to layers. It will take the CR2 and render it into a PSD format. And then represent it to you. So what we want to do is add a, <coughs> another layer, excuse me, uh, with the sky contained in it. So over this to the left here, uh, it might be hidden, so it might be like that. So you click on the little arrow at the bottom, bring this out. You have files which show you well, exactly what it says it will show you, files. But you have extra, and that's the one we want. Onto on one extra, onto backgrounds, all sorts of things. But look, there's skies. So we can take a, a nice sky. Oh, let's take one with loads of different contrast in it. Let's go with that one. Click it, drag it over to this side. So you've got the plus. Add it as a layer. Now, it puts it in front by default. All you have to do is then pick it up, drop it to underneath. And of course, you won't see anything uh, because the, comp the original photograph is on top of it. But we'll hide the original photograph, there's the image, it's not big enough so we'll do a transform lift it out until it fills your picture lift it away there, don't worry that's it <coughs> excuse me say oops apply that There we are. Back up to here again. Show it. You can bring that back to get the fuller picture. And what we want to do is do a quick mask. Make sure you have com your, your picture selected because otherwise you'll be masking on the skies. Paint that out. And there we go. There's the first stab at the sky coming in. Uh, it's, not, it's not very accurate, but you can tinker with it as it goes. Okay. And you can see on the mask, it's masked out the sky element of the picture, which lets your other sky come through. If you don't think the sky looks good enough, you can... Well, you can, move, you can go down to this layer and move it around. Okay, we'll save that. There you go. Hope that's helped. Cheers now.